channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And man, oh man, it's hot outside. <laughs> I'm so sick of this weather, you guys. It is so dry. It, it's fire season for us. Um, this time of year is usually pretty dry. It's so bad. Every... All the skin on my body itches because it's so dry. My nose is so dry. I'm I'm shocking anyone and anything everywhere I go. The hair is just constantly frizzy. It's nuts. Um, it's about 83 degrees right now, and I will say I'm glad it's not humid. But but it's it's really hot. Uh, we got a lot to talk about before we jump into this haul. So if y'all if you don't want to hear it, it's fine. It it's okay. I don't take offense. There's always a timestamp in the description box if you just want to see what I'm hauling because that's why you're here. That's why you clicked on this video. Um, but I got a lot, a lot to catch you guys up on. So let's start with Halloween. Uh, Y'all know we went to Disneyland for Halloween and it was just the best two days of my life. It was absolutely magical. There are no words. It was amazing. Uh, if you're new around here, I've mentioned this before, but I grew up going to Disneyland for Halloween. It's a tradition in my family. We never went trick-or-treating. We always went to um, Disneyland. And it really meant a lot to me that I got to do this with Daisy. It was a real full circle moment for me. And I was very <laughs> emotional the whole time because it's just kind of nuts when you have a kid and you get to do things with them that you used to do when you were a kid. I, I don't know. It's just that whole dynamic um was just really really special and we had the gr just greatest time so we were at disney all day thursday half of the day friday which we did not eat keto i've said that before in like vlogs and stuff that we, we don't eat keto when we go to disney i don't even try um we eat what we want and it was great and delicious and now you know, tomorrow's Monday, we're ready to get back on the horse. This weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, we haven't been eating terribly, but we haven't been eating keto. Like we had eggs this morning and we each had a slice of toast. Um, yet last night I made like a sh huge charcuterie board for dinner, so I had a bunch of cheeses and meats and stuff. And we had a few crackers. Like we're not going like ham, we're not like rolling through McDonald's or getting Mexican food like we normally would or something like that, but we just haven't been eating keto. So I'm ready, I'm ready for a Monday for me Mondays are just like time for a fresh start I purposely made a grocery list where I am making uh, different meals for dinner so I, I feel like lately I've always had like fathead pizza steaks um, I feel like I've kind of had the same things over and over and over again I just really wanted to feel inspired this week I wanted to not, I don't want to say like make it fun but kind of just like jazz things up a little bit so we're not eating the same thing over and over um, as we have like in weeks past. So I feel good. I feel good about my, my list this week and the meals that I'm going to be doing, um, for dinners. So before we jump in guys, this haul. So most of my stuff is from Trader Joe's. Then yesterday I went to a store that was near grocery outlet. And then I was like, well, you have to go into grocery outlet. Like you can't just like be by grocery outlet, and, like not go in. So I got like literally three things from there. Then we went to Costco and I normally don't show the things that I get at Costco just because I feel like it kind of skewers like m what I spend in a week because I feel like the things that I buy last longer than a week. But this week I decided to include it. How many times can I say week? I'm going to include it uh, with this haul. And then I had to pick up a couple things at Walmart. So we are really like, <laughs> we got the bargains at Grocery Outlet. We got the fun stuff from Trader Joe's. We got the bulk goods. Like we are like really covering all of our bases today. I am gonna do prices again. You gotta bear with me. Trader Joe's, like I said, that's where most of my stuff is from and they don't itemize. They don't make it so that, you know, it's like, oh, here's all the frozen, here's all the dairy. It's just like a running thing of all your random stuff. So this video might, there might be a lot of editing. That's essentially what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I will show you my list. I will show you everything that I got. And then I will of course tell you um, the grand total. You're gonna kind of know what, I, what I'm spending as we go along, but I'll tell you the grand total at the end. All right, y'all, here is my list. I, I 
have been wanting to keep these in my notebook. Uh, I, I kind of want to just like hang on to all of my grocery list um, so I can flip back and see how much I spent, what I made that week, and I ripped it out. So maybe <laughs> it's just like habit, maybe next week. Okay, so meals for the week. I'm doing garlic chicken and salad on Monday. I'm doing a taco breakfast skillet and we're gonna eat that Tuesday and Wednesday or at least two days out of the week. It might not be um, the next immediate night. Then I'm doing chicken tenders, um, kind of like the Chick-fil-A copycat chicken tenders and a vegetable spaghetti squash. This spaghetti squash is gonna be with marinara and uh, some ground uh, beef. And then breakfast slash other um, on Saturday. By other, I just mean like maybe something in the freezer, something that's quick, something that I already have. So we have dairy, aisle stuff, drinks, what is this, meat, uh, produce and then down here for lunches Cernan's gonna eat lunches I already have frozen in the freezer I'm just gonna defrost as the day goes days go by and then I'm gonna be doing my crisp bread and turkey I actually forgot to get crisp bread but I think I have about four more slices in there which will pretty much last me the week maybe I'll do like a low carb quesadilla or something one of the days and then I had to pick up some other things but they're for a collab video and I have the recipes on the other side so I can't show you that um, but I did include those items that I picked up in this haul before we jump in, I do want to say that we had extra money in our budget this month. So I, while I was working off of my list, I did throw like, it was, I wasn't as strict when it comes to like not throwing things into my cart. There were a handful of things that I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. Ooh, I want to try that and just tossed it in, um, which is also why we got more from Costco than we normally do. We just had extra money this month. So I wanna throw that out there that this haul is definitely, definitely different than most weeks um, when it comes to like what I spent. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with produce. Um, again, going off of that, I had extra money and I don't want to cut, didn't wanna cut up a cantaloupe. So I got Daisy some cantaloupe pieces, um, pre-cut, these were $3.69. I picked up a bag of sugar snap peas, these were $2.49, these are just for us to snack on during the week. A spaghetti squash, this was $2.49. Cranberries for $1.99, this is for a recipe. Good old reliable, the Southwest chopped salad, I picked this up, this was $2.99. Some jalapenos for $1.49, a Roma tomato that cost me 29 cents, and some shallots for 98 cents. All right, on to dairy. I picked up two boxes of yogurt for Daisy. These are the organic yogurt pouches. I got her a box of the spinach mango pear and the strawberry beet berry. I normally just get one box, but there's only four in here and there's more than four days in a week. So then some mornings she just ends up having applesauce, which like is fine, but again, just decided to splurge and buy the two boxes so that we're fully covered. These are four bucks a piece. Then I got a large and a small thing of heavy whipping cream. The large one's $3.49, the small one is $1.99. Uh, this was like the exact amount that I needed for all of my recipes, so that's why I just got like a large and a small. Two things of cream cheese, these are a buck 69 a piece. A dozen eggs for a dollar 29, and then I know these aren't necessarily dairy, but they're in like the dairy-ish section. So I picked up some salsa for 2.99, and then y'all know this is like my favorite thing ever. Uh, the caramelized onion dip, I love this on my crisp bread. This is two carbs for two tablespoons and it's absolutely delicious. If you are an onion fan and you have a Trader Joe's near you, run. Okay, meat. I got some 80-20 ground beef, this was 3.99. Thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breasts were, oh my God, I just realized that, that it's 666, that's fun. Um, 666, <laughs> then um, my favorite bacon, y'all know this stuff is my jam. It's my favorite bacon like ever created by anyone. Uh, this was $4.99 and then some Columbus roasted turkey for $4.99 as well. All right, beverages, um, I didn't need much because we got some stuff from Costco that you'll be seeing in a hot minute, but I got a bottle of the M Chevalier, this is the one that I always get, and then a bottle of the Frégené. Uh, the Frégené was $6.99, the M Chevalier was $5.99. And then I really wanted to try these. These are little juice shots, so you, there's a ginger one and a turmeric one, they're two carbs a piece. Um, the ginger one has coconut water, ginger and lemon juices, and cayenne. And then the turmeric one has coconut water, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper. I just wanted to give them a go, just, just for kicks, literally for no reason other than like just trying them um, and seeing how they were. I've seen that, I have seen them at Trader Joe's multiple times, never picked them up. I can't remember if I've said these were $1.99 a piece. All right, to the aisle. I picked up some chicken broth for $1.99, some black olives, these were $1.29. 
169 for some um, fire roasted tomatoes. I needed some pumpkin for a recipe, so this is the organic canned pumpkin. This was $1.99. I picked up their the marinara sauce. This is just like the traditional marinara sauce, nothing fancy about it. It is the lowest carb marinara sauce that Trader Joe's carries. It's five net carbs a serving, that's for a half a cup, and this cost me $1.39. I got some peanut butter for Daisy, although we can eat it as well, for $1.99. Four Power Crunch bars to just have in there. Y'all know I like to just have bars um, like in case of emergencies. These were a buck 49 a piece, and then some taco seasoning mix for 79 cents. And then the last little bit that I got from Trader Joe's, I picked up the um, organic silver dollar pancakes for Daisy. She has been on a toast kick lately, but I do kind of like to give her, you know, some variety in what she's eating every morning for breakfast. These were $2.29. Then I picked up this beauty. Now, let me tell you a little something about the Trader Joe's freezer section. It's not so much that it's triggering for me, it just makes me sad because I always used to buy so many of the Trader Joe's frozen products before we went keto. I just feel like they have really interesting things. Everything is very cost efficient. Um, and it just kind of bums me out that there are not, with us, aside from like the vegetables, there are not, are not a lot of keto friendly items in their freezer section. I saw this and I'm like, there's no way. Like I'm gonna flip this over, the macros are not gonna be good. Y'all, they're fabulous for a cup, which I feel like is a very generous serving. It's six net carbs. Now there are three grams of sugar, but none of them are added sugars. And look at the ingredients. Broccoli, cauliflower, milk, water, mozzarella, butter, uh, wheat flour, olive oil, and Grana Padano cheese, and salt and pepper. What? I'm definitely gonna keep you guys posted and let you know how this is because I, I'm very intrigued by this. This was $3.99. All right, so let's jump to grocery outlet. I was not lying when I said I only picked up three things. I got two more boxes of these bars for Daisy. She really likes them and the size is perfect. It's so hard for her to finish like a full size granola bar. So I got two more boxes of these. Y'all, these were 99 cents. They're not expiring anytime soon. They don't expire till like the end of December. And I just saw them at Walmart today, I believe for $3.28. So that was a steal. And then I saw this the last time I was at Grocery Outlet, skipped out on it, and then I saw it again. So I just decided to pick it up. It's like ground beef, but it's beef, pork, and bacon. Um, there's nothing funky in it. It's, there, it, it is seasoned, um, so it does have seasonings, but I'm excited to try this. Macros wise, we're looking at one carb a serving. Um, I'm, I'm just, again, similarly to the um, broccoli and cauliflower gratin, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this. This was $2.99. Okay, now we're gonna jump to Costco. So I picked up, we picked up a pallet of Diet Coke for Cernan and a pallet of sparkling water for me. Um, the sparkling water was about 10 bucks and the Diet Coke was about 12 bucks. I say about, cause we get um, dinged for like, like it's like the California redemption tax or something. Um, anyways, I have not bought sparkling water in a hot minute, y'all. I've been like really good with just drinking water with the water enhancer, um, but I, I wanted to get some. I prefer LaCroix over the Kirkland brand, but they only had the holiday like flat of LaCroix and I hate all of the flavors in there. So I just, just went ahead and got the, the good old Kirkland. I got fruit snacks for Daisy. These set me back $11.89. Normally I would just buy the Welch's because they're cheaper, but like I said, we had room in the budget and these um, ingredients wise are a lot better. And then I got her the um, organic fruit and veggie pouches. Those were $10.79. You get 24 pouches in there. Bread for the miss. Um, this was $5.79 for two loaves. I um, free, am freezing one and then one is actually like, you know, in her, in her little snack cabinet, food cabinet. Then I got this coastal cheddar because everyone and their mother <laughs> seems to buy this when they go to Costco and I've never tried it. So I wanted to jump on the bandwagon. This was $7.79. It's a huge block. As you can see, we already opened it and it's delicious. And then the last thing we got was this muesli. I saw grain free and I was like, oh, I wonder if macros wise that is like, could work for keto and it totally does. You can see it has all this yummy stuff in it. Coconut, almonds, pecans, super seeds, strawberries, cherries, bananas, dates, vanilla. I'm not a banana fan, but it's low enough on the ingredients list that I think it'll be fine. And then macros wise, this is for a third of a cup. 160 calories, 13 fat, seven net carbs, four protein. I feel like that's pretty decent. I also know that I would probably eat this with yogurt um, and I would not eat a third of a cup. So I'm okay with that kind of higher carb count. 
very, very curious to see how this is gonna taste. This was six ninety-seven. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, this is the last of it. So this was everything that I got at Walmart. I got some Diet Cranberry. I picked this up because I need this for a recipe. This was $2.78. I got some Muffins for Daisy. These were $2.99. Some Premier Protein. I haven't picked this up in a while. And to be honest, I'm kind of over like mixing it in with my coffee. Um, I, I like having them in there as a snack. Um, so I got these. These were $6.86. And then I picked up this little guy. I need another water enhancer like I need a hole in the head. Um, I have so many water enhancers, but I just ran out of this one and I love it. This is the strawberry watermelon and this is the clear one. So it still has the sucralose and all that jazz, but um, it just doesn't have the dye. So I opted to get this one instead and it was $2.48. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel though that like I got a lot of stuff for what I spent. So I spent... $15 at Walmart, $5 at Grocery Outlet, $102 at Trader Joe's, and $60 at Costco, which puts me at $182 for the week. I feel like that's good. I feel like, especially being that like I'm kind of stepping out of the box and not making, like I didn't really shop my freezer, I didn't really shop my pantry, I'm making foods that I'm, I'm, I don't normally whip up on a weeknight. Um, I'm okay with that. and you know, 60 of that is all from Costco. So that's gonna last way longer than a week. One more thing I wanna mention about Costco. I saw Bang there. Now I had not been down like the drink aisle in Costco in a while. So I don't know if that's a new thing, but I thought I would spread the word. Um, it was a 24 pack and I think it was $34 which is a really good deal. You got four flavors, so it was a variety pack. Um, so if, if you're in the market, I definitely think that that's worth it if the flavors are flavors that you would enjoy because that that's, I mean, that's less than two bucks a can. So, so that's it for today, y'all. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked the prices, let me know. It feels very long-winded to me. I don't mind doing it, but it just feels like as a viewer, do you like it with the prices or not? Tell me. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Drop me a comment down below. What are you guys making this week? Have you picked up anything at Trader Joe's lately that like is completely keto friendly that you're obsessed with or maybe something from Costco? Let a girl know. Uh, Wednesday, I will be back at it with a what I eat in a day video and Friday, I'm gonna try my darndest to get out another recipe video. Uh, Y'all really seem to like that, the recipe video I posted last week, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put it out into the universe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it done um, for next week and, or for Friday. And yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. Bye friends.